real cool. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Today I'm speaking with Masia Habibi, also known as Moose. Thank you for joining me, Moose. Thanks for having me, John. Moose is one of our professional tutors operating primarily in our Tenley office. How long have you been with prep vendors? I think I'm coming up on six years now. What subjects and tests do you uh, teach here at prep matters? Uh, yeah, I cover uh, practically everything, um, but uh, certainly the high school admission tests and uh, the college admission tests. Uh, a lot of academic tutoring, organizational tutoring. It's really great with working with kids is uh, just seeing um, how quickly they can make progress uh, and those moments where it goes from something they dread and they are really frustrated yeah. to when they really like get an idea or they finally know how to work through something okay. and that uh, that moment where like the confidence blooms in them and stuff. Right. It's really good. Um, but also, like <laughs> they tend to be interesting, yes. uh, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, much more rewarding um, just being able to work with them. Yeah, so I think with Prep Matters, a big part of it is how uh, catered it is to the individual student. So I think a lot of them are trying to figure out, like, well, what is it? What does it look like? Yeah. Um, which is <laughs> very natural, but it's whatever works best for the student or uh, whatever they they think they need. Right. So. Um, uh, just the flexibility of it and how it can be adjusted to what um, they need and what kind of like pacing or what kind of right. focus they need. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, helps with a lot of families just because they, they don't know exactly what it, it looks like. Uh, and so they, they are looking for some sort of recommendation, but it's also we'll figure it out based on uh, what the student needs. Um, I think most families know that it's also the more willing the student is to engage with it, the right. more they'll get out of it. Okay. Uh, to some extent, uh, I'm a like, uh, motivational, like, yeah. like, let's go, let's do this. Right. But it's also, uh, if the student is absolutely <laughs> against it, mm -hmm. uh, progress will not, <laughs> will not yeah. be uh, great. Uh, I think a lot of students have a really um, challenging notion of standardized tests where they think it's an intelligence test. Yeah. Um, and they get a lot of um, issues with like, self-esteem about it. And none of the standardized tests are intelligence tests. Right. They <laughs> no longer say exactly what they're measuring because <laughs> they know legally they can't claim it's anything. Yeah. Um, but so it's, uh, the tests are measuring something. Uh -huh. Whatever that is though, isn't just innate ability. Uh, it's definitely something where it's a process and you can uh, get better at it. And right. um, some people are just very good at innately figuring out what that process is and how to work through something like that. Yeah. Um, but for most students, once you like get walked through it, it's a process that you can do and you can do well. Uh, right. And you can actually work your way to those answers. I really enjoy being friends with the students, right. but that's not uh, like a priority. So uh, I do try to make sure that it's not a miserable time, <laughs> that they're not just like, ah. Um, but mostly it's, uh, I think, what really makes it worthwhile for the students makes them yeah. convinces them that um, this is something that is helpful and something they can do yeah. is if they can start hitting um, new abilities and kind of get to yeah. uh, better places. So I do try to make sure that we're keeping things moving. Now that looks different for different age groups. Right. So I have students who are you know third graders, right. uh, and <laughs> then I will <laughs> bribe with like I'll let you draw a map. Right. I will uh, like show you this like video about this topic, uh, and then for <laughs> yeah, and then for high schoolers it's a little bit more like, yeah. all right, let's get this moving. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in each session, um, I am trying to figure out what how they're thinking through something yeah. and what's tripping them up, and try to get a better grasp of um, what kind of hurdles are in their way, and then trying to show them either a new way of working around it yes. or trying to reinforce. This is the series of steps, one, right. two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right. Uh, so that becomes uh, an innate habit that they're doing automatically yeah. so that uh, they can do it without me even telling them the steps. It's just not automatically how they internalize it and work through it. When uh, the students are done working with you, what do you want them to walk away with? Uh, can you state that again? Like, what do you want them to take away from your time together? Are all their dreams and goals coming true. <laughs> um, so it, again, it, it really depends on the type of uh, 
student what we're working on. Sure. Um, but definitely I want them to uh, feel like they have accomplished what they set out to do. Yeah. I want them to feel much more confident in their abilities to work through this type of material, whether it's tests or just academic stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big physics uh, evangelist where I know people dislike physics, uh, but I think it's great. Yes. Um, so if I can get them to also yeah. look at it in a new light and more positively, right. that's, uh, that's a good benefit. Um, but yeah, just mostly uh, in the short term, this specific thing that I was trying to learn or understand. Sure. Uh, and then in the medium, medium term, how do I approach a challenge like this in the future when other things come up that I'm not sure how to handle? Right. And then the third most long term is I know how to handle things, I'm feeling confident, and I have these abilities that yeah. I can put to use. Yeah. Diversity of like, different types of students who are in different places in their lives or right. uh, going in a lot of different directions. Um, uh, we were recently talking about uh, the generational gap. Right. Uh, I've been here long enough that uh, the references I used to make now <laughs> don't make sense to the students right. who are coming through. Uh, or they'll be like, oh yeah, I think I heard about that movie or something. So uh, I'm more up to date on uh, young cultural trends than I definitely would be otherwise. Um, but it's also, um, I've had a lot of students who have really opened up in sessions and uh, either like cried because of like frustration they've had or cried because they like are achieving like what they want. Um, and then, uh, uh, talked about just their own personal things that they're going through right. which is not the focus but I also understand like they have a lot of pressure on them sure. and I try to be there for that um, yeah so um, a lot of students that I think it's it's a professional working relationship but we're also like friends and uh, yeah it's been it's been great um, uh, both the students and the the, uh, the families and getting to know them right. and especially when um, I can help uh, the parents understand a little bit better yeah. what's going on with the students and then help the students figure out how to navigate whatever the challenges of that year or that topic are. Can you tell me about some ways you help students build confidence and maybe deal with some of the things affecting them? Yeah. Um, I, so I, yeah, I really try to stay on like the content and what we're focusing on, sure. like what the student came in for. Um, because I think a lot of times um, to protect themselves, I see this particularly in math. Uh, I kind of refer to it as um, the same way where if someone has a physical injury, if you don't get that treated, yeah. your whole body will react in a way to like yeah. protect you from the pain. Constantly. And then you'll kind of warp everything else and you can actually injure other parts of your body that way. Uh, so if there's like a part of school that really isn't clicking and it just, you can time and time again, you're just not, it's not working out for you. Yeah. A lot of students will either pull back from that subject and just be like, that's what I'm, I'm just not good at that. Yeah. Or they'll pull back from school and academics and be like, you know, that's just not my world. So just helping them with that is definitely a way I try to build confidence and show them you can do this. This is a thing that you can uh, work through. Right. Um, but also uh, a lot of students uh, just working together and yeah. one on one. Uh, and because I'm so funny, yeah. uh, we do end up uh, kind of building like a friendship uh, and uh, I have students who confide in me or just kind of really open up okay. um, and I try to uh, one just make sure I'm there for them and uh, supporting them through and just encouraging yeah. um, but two it also just means a lot when um, I've had students that uh, come out to me as uh, like gay or lesbians I've had students that confide in me uh, that they're trans uh -huh. um, and things like that just really mean a lot uh, and I try to make sure that I'm um, continue to be like just a very supportive person and someone they can talk to that's not quite one of their friends and not yeah. quite a parent right. um, but just um, an adult that's helping them like kind of get through it and I think a big part of what I do in each session is I'm trying to learn like how they think and yeah. what um, what's going on with them in terms of the, the things we're working on so session by session I'm kind of getting to know them a little bit better and um, yeah. Uh, hopefully building a, uh, a continuous course of first this is how you do this then you may not know like feel confident about your ability to figure it out but if you follow these steps that'll get you to answer yeah. then if that system works for you then that means you know how to do it then you're good at it and then this is not just like uh, outlier that you learn this one thing a lot of students have a hard time 
kind of accepting how they are improving and what they're good at, okay. and sort of building that up like, you know how to do this, yeah. you know how to do that. You can figure these out, right. and you can continue to improve and get better. Okay, well thank you. Mm -hmm.